Alright, what's going on guys, Double 7 here, and welcome back to another Splatoon 3 video, where today we are going to be continuing off what we took last time with the Splatoon 3 Splatfest, and playing in the Tri-Color Turf War. I feel like this is we should just try it with a basic weapon, the Splash Shot. It also has the tri Zuka as well, so I'll be glad to use that. Alright, game one of Tri-Color Turf War. As you can see how it works, basically two of the losing teams against all of the winning team will be fighting against each other. Ah, nuts. I wanted to use the tri to just blast his face open, but someone flying from behind. For now, let's just turn this area up because we need to get this area completely turned up. It acts the same as Turf War, but there's three teams, basically. And the percents on the top of the screen indicate what teams are winning and what teams are losing. I'm just gonna go for it. And it was a really bad idea. So you may be wondering what that thing in the middle there is and why I'm trying to go for it. All it is, is a form of a sprinkler. All it's gonna do is bring down a kind of sprinkler. I got you, homie! As you can see, right here, there's the sprinkler, as my teammate has very conveniently brought down. Ah! Oh, get sniped, bro! I'm dead! I have no idea who won there because the scores actually go away or the percentages go away in the last little bit. Um, it's close. I think we might win that. It's close, but I think we win. Yes, sir. You know, out of all the weapons I've not tried yet, I haven't tried the Tri Stinger, so let's give this a shot. Okay, so John, we're back at it again with Track I Color Star 4. Oh my god! I just saw someone with a plus seven. They've got no life. Nope, goodbye. Blue's currently in a good position. We are going to need to take back a lot of Blue's turf. Hello. I don't know why I threw it down below me. It's not a shield. Okay, I don't know if that actually did much, but hopefully that little section in the end gave us the win. I've got no clue. Damn it. We've got to try out something like the missiles. We haven't done missiles yet. Talk about a nuke, man, Jesus. Alright, game with the slaughter. Oh, goes on the spot more already, jeez. Okay, oh, I got someone. I'm not great at the slaughter up close, but I know I can actually do some stuff. Yay! Thank you very much, I'll take that. No idea if we won it all, because Red came in and started stamping away at us. But they didn't turn from another side, so we might have... They won by 0 0.2. Now, there's only 15 minutes left in the Splatfest, so I'm going to go ahead and play my top three favourite weapons that I have, well, in the game in general. Starting off with the Splatana at number three. Now, why is the Splatana my third favourite? Well, it's fine. I thought I, was, I think it's good. It's not as good as I, what I thought it would be, but it's nice to play around with. Not to mention that it's also got Torpedo and Ultra Stamp, which are also really good as well. No, you don't. Help me! Help! Me. No, you don't. <laughs> not to mention that it's also really fast as well with its um, things. So it's got good burst options. Blue's definitely getting some stuff in there, so I'm gonna have to get some stuff going on here. Or I could just, you know, chop stuff. Hey, stop it, you. I don't have any ink left, but I think we are okay. Um, don't know. It's close. We're not cold, okay, but... Why is it always blue? They don't even do clean cuts. Like, look at this filthy patch. Well, actually, I said that, but then... I'm a, I'm a fool myself. Now, the one downside that I don't exactly like about the sword in general, or the Splatana, is that its turfing power is under average. It's fine. It's good. But it's not as good as what I hoped it would be. Now for my second favourite weapon, out of all weapons that are in the test fire, the Airspray MG takes the lead, the lead for that one because of one thing, and that is Reef Slider. There's a few other reasons why, but I will show, I'll show. demonstrate those while we're playing the game. Obviously one of the big things, especially for turfing in general, is, is turfing power. Not to mention the fact it's also good physical. Ow! I also got shot in the face! Can you just back the f up, you absolute ass? Ugh, if blue team win again because of red, I swear. But one of the things that I like about this weapon in general is this. 
Reef Slider. Just slide into the DM. I'm gonna die. Ah, come on. You guys are going after the wrong people. Why target us when blue is literally miles ahead? Why do people in this stupid game have three brain cells? And the final weapon, which is my best and favorite weapon out of all of them, is the inkbrush. And here we are, guys. This is the last game of the Splatoon 2 Test Fire Tower 4. But Ben is one count because I am not one to lose this one. Let's get it, guys. Let's do some sh Let's get some good stuff, man. Get that. Get them out of the way. That's one of the reasons why I like the brush, brush, brush in Splatoon 3. It's because it has the, the killer whale. Wait, I didn't mean to grab that. Okay. I did not mean to grab that. I meant to go in and start smacking them, but nope. Dude, stop it. Oh, I had a mix-up in him as well. We're gonna probably lose control here, but that's okay. We just need to be careful of what we're doing. Like, you need to get out of here right now. Oh, come on, guys. We can win this. They're not focusing enough on their own turf. Come on. This is it. Please. I think we won. I'm not gonna say anything else. Come on. And there we go. Last game of the Splatfest, and Paper wins. And there we have it, the last game. I've got no idea how much is going to be added to it. Well, oh, there we go. Just shy of 400,000 for that one. And now it's time for the results. 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 Alright, the results, I've been told, have came in. No idea when they're going, if they're going to be here. I'm guessing this is, yep. Alright guys, here we go. The results. Here we go. First, let's see which team got the most votes overall. I actually have no idea, but we'll find out. I think it's big. I think we have a lot of big man fans. Nim Team Rock by a mile. I feel like his rock is the most common one to go for. Makes sense though. I mean, it's either that or you have a lot of shiver sims. Now you have Clout. Uh, this is the guys. Damn it. I had a feeling that Rock would win by mile with popularity. So close though. I don't think it's so close, Fry. 15 points is a big margin. Later is Rock for a pillow. Oh, we big man, we big man's so sad. No, I feel so bad for him. I mean, freaking, I saw Wadsum, who is on Team Rock, won a 333 times battle, and I didn't even know they existed. I'm sad that we didn't win the Splatfest. However, it was good in general. Thanks for playing. That is it, guys. The Splatfest has ended. Team Rock has officially won, which. I'll give it to them, good job, but it was by a landslide as well. With that we go back to Pass Moth, who will do the outro, because I'm too lazy, I'm too lazy bleh, to make one. So guys, I think it's going to be it for this platoon Splatfest, I completely forgot we're not going to get the results in. Stay! If you guys like this video then you should like it, subscribe, and you should check out my Twitch, because I do this kind of stuff on there as well, and I also do Smash Bros. Anyways guys, thank you for watching today's video, and as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!